China made international headlines when it revealed that it had constructed a fully operational 1,500-room hospital in just five days. In response to a COVID-19 surge in the city of Nangong in the province of Hebei, this amazing feat of engineering and logistics was carried out. It brought up memories of an earlier period of the pandemic when construction workers in Wuhan built a 1,000-bed hospital in just over a week. Hello and welcome back to our channel. We're back today to answer your question about how China builds so fast. Um, faster? It's hit or miss, I guess. When I first learned about the building, I slammed my head against the wall and discovered the hard way that there is no such thing as rapid and good construction in this world while yet expecting flawless construction. In addition to following safety regulations, every construction project must adhere to critical routes, understand the strength of materials and test often. A shortcut to hell, as the expression goes. As some construction companies build buildings in as little as two weeks, China's quick-paced construction sector has long been the focus of controversy and envy in certain other nations. Are China's rapid-fire construction foundations secure, though? After creating a 57-story skyscraper in just 19 working days, the Chinese construction company Broad Sustainable Building declared itself the quickest function in the world in April of last year. The prefabricated construction company, which prepared 90% of the structure at the factory before site work started, then put together the final 10% of the structure like a jigsaw puzzle on the job site. Alistair Campbell, investment manager Asia Pacific at Kames Capital, told CNBC via email, I think this goes back to an innovative type of modular Lego-like structure. This is not an example of a Chinese builder erecting a structure as quickly as possible to make a profit and demonstrate loose building regulations regulations. Since the Chinese have constructed so many massive apartment buildings over the past 20 years, the objective was more to illustrate an effective building technology. Even while some analysts claim that the construction businesses adhere to international building norms and laws, such speed has generated concerns about the sustainability, longevity and safety of the buildings. One of China's main economic drivers is housing, but analysts have cautioned that declining property values and investment returns could be signs of a larger issue with the economy. The National Bureau of Statistics NBS, data showed that property investment increased 5.3% from a year earlier in January to July, dropping from an increase of 6.1% in January to June in 2015. Property sales increased 26.4% per square foot, down from 27.9%. Let's get going with our video. Do like it and share it with your friends. How can China build so quickly? Even now, in the midst of the coronavirus, China's intrepid builders are working shockingly swiftly to build skyscrapers and high-speed rail bridges in addition to erecting hospitals at a breakneck pace. So today, we're donning our hard hats and wondering just how China constructs so quickly. Hundreds of millions of people have been pulled out of poverty by China's modern economic boom, which is a little short of astounding. More quickly than any other civilization in human history, it urbanized its populace and built some pretty amazing infrastructure. Not least among the landmarks along the way are the biggest airport, largest dam and veritable forest of brand new buildings. The People's Republic is light years ahead of any other nation on Earth thanks to its investment of over $300 billion in about 40,000 kilometers of high-speed train infrastructure and demonstrating its dedication to a future for its 1.5 billion residents focused on sustainable public transportation. When you take into account that the project only actually began in 2008, so how are they doing it so quickly? A big part of the solution is fantastic technology. For example, consider the cleverly titled SLJ-900, also known as the Iron Monster, and created by Beijing's Wonder Joint Machinery Company and built by the Shizong Railway Design Institute. Because of China's frequently rocky environment and numerous railway networks, it serves as the prototype for railroad development. Heavy-duty cranes are used to construct these elevated bridges, which must rise in the bridge or viaduct. These elevated cranes are then assembled, the span rises to wedge the iron mons in position, and the iron mons is finished on their 64 wheels. The bridge element operates in a distinctly different manner, using 64 wheels on 64 wheels to enter a lengthy piece of slide and then to position the new bridge on the blank followed by the span. After that, a monster scroll was stopped so that the temporary factory next to the next portion could be collected. 
The 91-meter-long 580-ton beast that makes up the temporary factory not only works faster and more efficiently for the railway, but it also looks great. Technology that is more convenient than conventional technology. Similar to the enormous 9.1-mile Major Bay Bridge that is now being built in Kunlun, Southeast Kunlun, Southeast, Southeast, has a solely HEFT of all these all-round types of machinery of 1,000 tons of the box girder. Set much higher expectations for them than you would during training. It is anticipated that the train will be extremely safe when completely injured in any of these orbits traveling between 120 and 220 miles per hour. The trip could be cut by 350 kilometers starting in 2025 as the prototype Maglev is now being tested near Shanghai. Another area where China excel is reportedly deploying equipment with independent German engineering advisors is the tunnel. These machines merely have a boring machines and only cost $10 million per day for 10 meters. You will need $50 million to access China's railway network because although its lightning-fast hospital building construction technology is only one aspect of China's political nature, it may be costly before you comprehend the one-kilometer tunnel of the United States. And the most crucial element might possibly be the regulatory structures. In the case of how to swiftly build, there is a similar project in the typical Western country in the West, comparing the procedure of setting up high-speed trains in China and has laid a full feasibility analysis on one-meter track entrustment exercise. The establishment of a government-funded railway, especially in areas with low populations and potential for financial success such as Dragon Jujian, will occur if the line is advantageous and there is not a tiny window of opportunity. In 2016, high-speed rail operated 3 billion trains, but there were also millions of dollars worth of additional issues such as extreme weather conditions and damaged Guangzhou's lines, which increased maintenance expenses and eliminated the honoring industry's earnings. It is thought to be an issue with the threat of development that the Beijing central government is occupying the bill high-speed lines in Western nations to reroute the threats of development. Because of how it is better or worse, China views this as an issue. Therefore, as time passes, questions about Western developers become more and more frequent. It is concerning because it's frequently expensive and it may even result in a sentence of a few years, decades or even centuries. The nature of electoral politics implies that Western leaders frequently do not want to sign potentially disagreeable contracts if the government decides that it needs this land so badly that it will only accept the lease compensation. For instance, if a massive noisy construction project threatens to interrupt any candidate defending a seat in the next election, the politician will attempt to avoid making this difficult choice. This instead China's considerable amount of time. The senior leader does not have to respond to their constituents entirely differently, making arrangements that suit everyone's preferences, but China's long-term perspective is advantageous for the Chinese government's building business. They confidently invested time and money to acquire knowledge, appropriate profit, penetrating iron monsters that would follow and prove all RD expenses during the 2016 railway infrastructure announcement that the railway infrastructure will spend 2.8 trillion yuan in Beijing WOW joint machinery in 2016. Infrastructure in China is not limited by its borders, according to its ambitious 2013 goal. A massive program known as the Belt and Road Project was unveiled by Chinese President Xi Jinping in 2013 with a target date of May 2017 for Asia, Europe and Africa. Establishing a modern railway road and shipping municipality railway construction in China, utilizing Mombasa and Nairobi's Chinese machine modern tracks, along with Kenyan countryside along 700 meters each day, has taken 18 months. In advance, it should be noted that not every building project is a promise from the public sector to ensure the prosperity of the nation in the case of a private firm, but rather a flourishing economy. Furthermore, massive urbanization has allowed construction businesses and engineers to accomplish stunning and creative results in this regard, and they have also approved this so-called wall-climbing monster, also known as a skyscraper machine designed and built by Chinese engineers. To obtain their brainchild, the archive at least eight patents. Biomoth 2010 has been utilized upstairs. Upstairs, 100 flies are used. Each wall-climbing monster is at least 528 meters from China's highest tower, China. 
The 12 hydraulic jack weighed bearing 400 tons. It erected a whole three-day floor. Its hurricane proves that some critics claim that China's building is too rapid, if any of the things that are referred to as the ghost town city. However, China is betting that its population will only continue to grow and urinate, so it's best to have that infrastructure to establish in an orderly manner. They all believe that with the destabilizers of the global economy, many of these silent skyscrapers are destined to have a vacancy. Family, rather than allowing its enrollment in the Western critics, also refer to China's rights to the right of poor people or construction safety records and signal that the hospital erected in five days may appear fantastic this promotional video. It might not stand the test of time. Why does it take roughly 28 days for poured concrete to cure and dry out? Whatever the reasons for any cracks, this process is invariably leading to bigger issues. Poured concrete makes up practically all modern buildings. In the spring, the British London XL Convention Center is changed into a high-tech hospital. According to the author of the title, the big popularity will eventually revert to its old usage of XL, which is unquestionably more sustainable and economical. There is still debate on the perspective of perspective, namely whether China's rapid architecture is a miracle or an ambitious new technology involving near-zero budget and unheard of intricate central planning when humans may be intelligent and the greatest challenge of our time. So, this was all about today's video. Let us know your thoughts about China building so fast and quickly in the comment section. Do like the video and share it with your peers. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for receiving notifications. Thank you for watching.